So today is Eel Column Kilia in the Manx, which is the eve of St. Columba, the day that the Lord Forester went to the top of the highest mountain in the land and blew his horn. So the Lord's Forester held uh, quite an important position under the Lord of Man, formerly the King of Man, because the island was divided up into chunks of good farmland, but everything outside that farmland, typically up on the mountains, was called the King's or the Lord's Forest. And the person who was in charge of regulating what happened on the mountains was the Lord's Forester. The locals had rights in respect to that land, they could graze their beasts on that land. And the locals also had the right to cut turf, which was the sole means of, of heating in those days, and also to take stone. They could take stone off the mountain for building purposes. So we've come to talk about this at the Forester's Lodge. And on Eel Column Killia, the forester would travel from his home, Forester's Lodge, to the summit of Snaefell and there blow his horn three times. And that's a signal uh, to all the local landowners and a reminder that they have to have their sheep shorn. Then the forester would go out, he'd take his dog with him, he'd have his boots on, and he would range the whole of the mountain, examining sheep that he found. And if he finds any unshorn, he was entitled to shear the sheep and take the fleece. And he would mark the sheep by making a cut at the base of the tail and twisting a piece of skin through the cut. And it would remain as a mark so that he'd know next year uh, which sheep he had, he had taken. So the following year, if he finds a sheep with this particular mark, that sheep was then taken and it would belong to the Lord and it could be sold to the Lord's profit and the money would go into the Lord's coffers. The way of life the people led here um, was governed by the seasons, it was governed by the requirements of husbandry of their animals. The movement of stock onto and off the mountain is something that's called transhumance which had been going on not only in the Isle of Man but in other places since prehistory. So to have evidence of how it was still happening up into the 19th century, um, I think is very valuable. <laughs>